to my channel. I am Amy for anybody that is new and today I am bringing you a Mila Kunis inspired recreation. So I attempted Mila's signature or what I think Mila's signature makeup look is like that really like smoked out grungy like cool tone eye. So that is what we're gonna do today and honestly Mila is like my absolute favorite. She's like my ultimate girl crush. I think she's so funny just so beautiful inside and out and I mean I don't really know her but I'm gonna try to do her proud today. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look. So first I'm starting with the brows. First just brushing them up and I'm using this ColourPop pencil. It's the color black and brown to fill any of my sparse areas. And yeah, that totally just snapped off. But I'm grabbing another spoolie to brush out any of the harsh lines that the pencil may have left. Then I'm priming my lid with this pot from H&M and grabbing this gorgeous Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'm taking the lightest shade and putting that all over my lid. And then this taupey medium brown shade to define and carve out my lid. I'm going a bit above my natural crease since Mila has these like really big beautiful eyes. It's a way to kind of fake mine to look like hers, especially by putting this even deeper brown shade to really define that crease. Now I'm grabbing my waterproof black eyeliner by Ico and applying that to my lash line. It's fine to be messy here, that's the, kind of the point of this very lived in smoky eye look. We are going to smudge it out anyway so that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm taking a black shadow from the Charlotte Tilbury palette and going over top the liner for a more smoked out look. and also lining my waterline. I'm going all the way into the tear duct, so rim to rim, and then also I'm lining my lower lash line, and that's why I really, really like this waterproof liner because it doesn't get messy throughout the night, and I'm just smudging that out as well. It has this really cool like brush sponge on the opposite end, so it makes it really, really easy to line and smudge. Now I'm adding that lighter shade again, but now this time to my brow bone just to highlight. And I'm adding a bit of shimmer because I did notice that Mila had some sparkle through her eyes and I'm just grabbing that on my finger and blending it out with a brush and also applying some of that darker brown to my lower lash line to drag down the liner a bit more and make it more of that grungy feel. I felt like I was missing Mila's charcoal color, like she had a lot of charcoal throughout her lid, so I grabbed another palette. This one is by Catrice, and I'm grabbing that deep shade and applying it all over the lid. And then I'm going back in to touch up the black liner. From the Catrice palette, I'm also grabbing the light shade to highlight my tear duct just a bit, and this also really helps to fake bigger eyes. So you know I always like to go back to the eyes at the end just to perfect anything but for now I do want to move on to my face. So I'm cleaning up any of the fallout with this cotton pad and I just had a little bit of Bioderma and moisturizing my face with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich just to prep the canvas. And just kidding, I wanted to use my black again before moving on so I'm deepening the eye a bit more with the black from the Charlotte Tilbury palette and then blending that out and now I'm moisturizing my face. For primer, I'm using this one by Dermalogica and this has easily become my favorite primer. I really, really love this. It's hydrating but it also blurs, hence the name Hydro Blur. And back to the eyes again, I wanted to intensify the eyes a bit more. So I'm taking my Master Kajal by Maybelline and tight lining and then also going over just to deepen the black on my waterline again. And I really love this darker shimmer from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. It's like from the disco section and I feel like it really helped complete the eye. So I'm popping a ton with my finger. So now for foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the dewy finish and I'm applying that first with my hands and blending that out with my Real Techniques brush. Okay. 
For concealer, I'm using this ColourPop No Filter Concealer and applying that right under my eyes to brighten as well as to clean up the under eye since we did smoke it out. I'm taking this brush by Real Techniques. It really helps me buff out this concealer nicely without messing up that shadow that I have under my eyes. Now to set all of that, I'm taking this powder by Laura Mercier. It's super sheer, but it adds a bit of radiance as well, and you can really pack it on like you can see I'm going in with quite a bit of product, but it does not look powdery at all. Sometimes I even wonder if it's doing anything, but it totally helps set those creamy products. I'm now taking this Charlotte Tilbury Instant Face Palette, which is really amazing. I would highly recommend this. It's super easy and perfect for everyday makeup, super compact, and it has everything that you would need for a really like natural, everyday look. I'm going to be using the bronzer, blush, and highlight from this palette to complete the look. Almost finishing up, I'm taking my Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. This is definitely the best mascara at the drugstore, hands down. And before applying mascara to my bottom lashes, I am taking a little bit more of the black eyeshadow and just gently smoking it on my lower lash line. This also just helps set the concealer and just make sure there's no harsh lines or anything, like it looks pretty seamless. So now I'm just finishing up the mascara on the bottom lashes. And for lips, Mila had a very natural lip going on. It almost could have been like chapstick, honestly, but I am taking this Becca Beach Tint in Fig and applying that with my finger. These dreams under my pillow in the twilight of these white nights. So that is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. You know, I really, really tried to nail these recreations with like the colors and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think, honestly. I'm always open to, um, what is it? Constructive criticism. <laughs> so I will meet you down in the comments below. And if you don't want to talk about the makeup look, it's fine. Just let me know how you are. We'll chat it out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have them all. So we can continue our little relationship. Can we call it that? Yeah, totally. So we can continue to be in touch outside of YouTube. Thank you again so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.